area. And while authorities and relief workers from Monarch are redoubling their efforts, it seems everybody's working at capacity. And Time was broken. Working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. The end of time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it? The solution was inside Monarch Tower. The countermeasure. The CFR, as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol. Monarch's survival plan. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. Okay, then. Mr. Hatch! Mr. Hatch. Uh, I, uh, thought I thought you... you... They said they you're, said you're dead. dead. They... they are confirmed. Building shit locked down. Poor bastard doesn't know Welcome anything about to the Welcome to the international headquarters of Monarch. This state-of-the-art state of the building, building has become, become world, world famous, famous for its unique architecture. Skyline. Incorporating an unprecedented level of automation. Designed Mr. Hatch! Uh, I thought you... you they say you were zero carbon The building provides a safe and environmentally friendly workplace for thousands of Monarch employees. Monarch solutions. All we Thank God. Right. Paul's office.
I was getting closer to the countermeasure. Paul had the key to fixing the fracture all along, but he didn't see it. There was nothing to see. He believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. That's why he used the countermeasure, the CFR, to create the lifeboat.
Monarch PR machine was going strong. The public believed that they were doing what the police force couldn't, protecting them from a terrorist threat. From you. You told me that Hatch had Paul's full support. I saw otherwise. There was a temporary misunderstanding. Fiona, I'm trying to get the sky bridge. Sky bridge, sky bridge. You're in marketing right now. Okay, yeah, I, I think I got it. Hey, Jack, be careful. There's something really weird going on in this building. Monarch was scrambling. Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. I'd never seen anything like it. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. He didn't do a very good job. What was that thing? The train. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hazard. Repeat, stay clear. Another door I need help with, Fiona. You're at Serene's office, good. Uh, just a second, this one's a little tricky. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber and there's going to be a pretty dangerous guy there guarding. Got it. Just 
be careful, okay? Paul was already gone, but he left behind the one thing I needed. Alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. We're done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. I'm done dancing your tune, you crazy bastard. That was just a couple of minutes between stutters. The countermeasure was Paul's prize. Everything he built was based on Will's device. His plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. spent a long time running Monarch in secret. It probably didn't help with that whole disconnected from reality thing. <clears throat> 17 years, he lived through twice. All of it mapped out from memory. He knew the market trends before they occurred. He had the tools to make a fortune, and he did. Paul told me that he tried to change things. It failed. What he'd seen, it broke him. And I'd seen Beth go down the same path, but Paul, it consumed him. Dr. Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but reading through their exchanges, there was something more than professional going on. That's not my place to comment on. Paul was a powerful man, the leader of an empire, but behind the veil, he was a dying man. The signs were clear.
you. I've got too much riding on this. You're not going anywhere. Fiona, I'm at the CFR chamber. Door's locked. That's way above my access level. But... Seeing that face put it into perspective. They were all misled. Manipulated to believing they were doing what was right. What was necessary. Liam they had stockpiled all the chronon particles from Liam ground Burke zero to keep the lifeboat running. was an unnecessary casualty. Enough to hopefully last until a many. proper solution was discovered. It was like walking into a shrine. There'd been some kind of struggle in the chamber. This was our holy relic. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it. And I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. They've got the core here. Monarch had built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. Okay, this should do it. Deploying the corridor. Phase one underway. Please clear all arms.
Machine lady. The machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the Corps was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. There after the fracture initiated. Too late to stop it all before it ever started. But not too late to save Will. All you had to do was get to him in time. Yeah, that was the plan. HQ, we've got security footage of the Joyce brothers escaping through the server room on the lower level. Raider Team 3, intercept immediately. Ready another extraction unit to remove the core. Prowler Team, ready the heavies in the underground parking. I'm not hearing any response from Raider Team 3. We may have a situation. Copy. Hatch was right. Should have sent Liam Burke in first to deal with those Joyce assholes. <laughs> I remember that Will and I were heading to the courtyard when the stutter hit. That's where I needed to cut him off.
trying to escape from the lab after the experiment. It seemed like Monarch was dealing with somebody other than us. That was me, all along. HQ! Striker team is down! Raider 9, what do you mean Striker team is down? How many?
got to get to the library. No time to lose. I got to get to Will. Shit. Too late. I got to beat him to the library.
gotta get down there. Stand by to detonate the library. I'm going in. <sighs> Fuck. Will? Already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Well, harm and try. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to. Uh. Isn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? Theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. Gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, the future. No, 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 no. The only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. There's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. Here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past up. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes. It's all and great. the Novikov self consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know.
All right, through here. Amy. We can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh-huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Oh shit, watch out. Well, hey. We can go this way now. Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. There. Yeah. It's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? <clears throat> One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure. 
or the fracture to stop time permanently. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course, it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. Jack, when we exit, it'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, Will. That works. This is amazing. All those years. I never imagined that it would be like this. Crap. Hang on, Will. I'll... Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. <laughs> 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 